Okay, so some of the pro realism carvers might be like, well, those wings aren't properly like, like that, Jordy. You know, they should be big single feathers coming off here in the end. Well, I know that. I don't care. I did them the way I wanted to do them. They're carving fusion wings. I'm not a realism carver, and I'm just having fun with this piece. So what's your point? Who gives a shit, right? Have fun. So what I'm going to do today is with this uh, sandpaper flap sander. This is, uh, let's see if it's on the screen here. Yeah, this is built sandpaper just on a ready rod with a nut here and a nut on the bottom side with washers. Let's see. i got to make sure it's on screen. Okay, so here's some belt sandpaper. I think this is like 40 grit. you got a nut here and a washer. Then you got a nut on the bottom side with a washer. And just cut up some belt sandpaper. Get yourself a PVC pipe or whatever kind of pipe so it can free spin in your hand. And I'm going to start getting the high points on these wings. And I'm going to finish this chair with CTOL today. And let's pull off that tape first to see how um, those holes that I fixed from the previous video with the uh, Gorilla Glue and the sawdust. Yep. Okay, so for those of you that watched the first video, you saw that I put the tape on here so the, the Gorilla Glue with the sawdust and the holes doesn't uh, pop out. So, well, we got a piece stuck on there. So it didn't come out. Because that Gorilla Glue pushes, expands the wood. You see, because this beak was going to fall off, I put a screw here and a screw there. And this beak actually did fall off with the crack there. And uh, I screwed it on and put some wood glue in here. So there was a hole there. So I got some glue and mixed it up with the sawdust. Gorilla Glue and put it in the hole. So what I think I'm going to do first is uh, sand these wings, get the high points to pop. And... Um, what I was explaining about the wings earlier is like, I know these shouldn't be like this. They should be nice. One, one big feather coming off. I don't give a crap. Don't care. So like I showed you, I think I'll start off with this. Then uh, I might switch to this. This is like 40 grit sandpaper on this disc. We don't need those cuts all day. And I might even use this. I don't know. Just see how it goes. And I'm going to be using my trend. Uh, Dust mask. This is a Air Pro. I think it's the Air Shield Pro. Yeah, Trend Air Shield Pro. This was like four hundred bucks Canadian, but it's awesome because it doesn't fog up. It's got filters there, and it pushes air into the mask so it doesn't fog up. pretty well done the Viking uh, chair well it was the Viking uh, when did we started off me and just car well I kind of thought of the name uh, Viking hooker chair but that's just a joke that's a bad word uh, Viking stripper chair you know you put a stripper pole right here bring some strippers in you have a another table here to hold your stites of beer or whiskey or whatever you got and you just have a good time so um, I think my Good friend Tyler, my, one of my best friends, uh, he bought that eagle for his uh, dad. Uh, sorry, owl that I did back there for his dad. I think Tyler might purchase this. I'm going to sell it to him for a really good price. I'm not something like this. I was just having fun carving. It didn't take me that long. And um, it's it's just kind of a special piece because he's got a picture of his dad uh, sitting in the chair when it wasn't finished. And he had a good time. His dad, Mr. Wilkes, came over. I'm going to get a picture of that from Tyler Austin if I can put that picture in the video. And um, you'll see Mr. Wilkes. I've known him since I've been like five years old. He's kind of like a second, Mr. and Mrs. Wilkes, kind of like a second set of parents to me. So um, 
hopefully I can show you a picture of him sitting in the chip in the throne right now. So Tyler might buy it. He's gonna he's a trucker, so he's out on the he's out in the States right now, so when he comes back I'll let him take a look at it. I'm not gonna put out finish on this yet. I'm gonna let it dry out a bit. The wood's still damp, I can feel it. And uh, it's good just to let your thing sit, like let it let it dry out a bit, then put the finish on it. You're gonna get a bunch much better quality uh finish on it instead of you know like say if I put oil on this and it's kind of like damp you know the the oil might not penetrate the wood too good and you know a year later it might like I'm gonna put sea tall that's oil based the oil might um you know peel off it so like a thing like this has to have uh two or three good coats on it so you don't have to do any maintenance on it for but I got my eagle chair at my house it's like six years old now. I haven't done any maintenance on it. Just on the eagle heads now, when I did the sea tall, uh, it's just starting to peel off. And also, when you do the sea tall, sea tall likes a, a lot of sun. I, I, I That's my opinion anyway. So when you put it on, you can put the sea tall on outside in the sun and let it get really warm and soak into that wood. So that's the finished piece. I'm glad, you know, if these are just basic eagle heads, just to kind of give you the visual. Like I said, I could have made these wings, like each feather coming up, single feathers. Uh, yeah, single feathers coming up. But it's okay. I had to, just like this car, Robin Larry Dib says, I, I did what I could. This thing's solid. It will never break apart. I got the dowels and the screws, timber bolts under there. And, you know, you don't even see where I sanded, where you, you barely see where I did the wood filling with the beaks on, so these beaks will never break off. It was a super fun challenge. I'm not going to, uh, I'm just going to make this, well, holy, I was just talking for three minutes, sir. So uh, I got my new earbuds in for that person that says I copyright and cook. Uh, yeah, well, I do. I bought the Isotunes earbuds he suggested. So you can see here where I put the wood glue in. You can barely see it. You can barely see those holes. T totally covered it. There's this view. That's pretty cool. I'm happy with it. And it didn't take me that long. I had I didn't put too much time into it. You see, I did that. I started off the normal feathers, like this thing here. Then I started doing the nice smooth ones. And I started making them. Well, here, I could have done smooth here again too. Then bigger smooth. Don't care don't care on this back it can be a mountain it can be whatever you want it to be this base is just uh, rocks like slate so that's it everybody this is gonna be a short video I wanted to show you all the uh, show you uh, the finished chair that's it now I gotta get a good picture with me sitting in it for a thumbnail carbon fusion over out what am I gonna carve now I think I'm going to blast off. It's so early in the day. I think I'm going to blast off a couple wood spirits. I just got my forklift right there. My buddy Tyler's like, he's like, I don't know, six foot two or something, six foot three. He's like 300 pounds. He's a big man. He's strong like a ore. I said, well, how are you going to get this to your house? That's if he wants to buy it. He says, well, we'll lift it in the back of my truck. I was like, yeah, you and who else? He goes, oh, I'll do it myself. I'm like, yeah, good luck, buddy. I know you're I know you're strong like a bull, but this thing's still friggin' heavy. For one man it's heavy anyways. So I'm gonna wheel this outside. To let some sun get on it. Oh my god, it's heavy. Look at that! I'm not helping you lift this into the back of your truck if you buy it. No way. Anyways, fuck bastard. Hope you're all doing good. Carbon fusion, once again. I love seeing carbon fusion over and out. Ah, over and out. <sighs> Fucking bastard. Fuck you. Oh. Okay. Oh. There you go. Sorry for the language. Okay, here it is out in the sunshine. Bye for now.
Sure, Jordy. Why don't you carve another little owl? A little hooter. So that's that. I don't know what to uh, carve down here. Open for suggestions. What do you think, Sean? Nice seeing you today. My buddy Sean stopped by. Anyways, open to suggestions. What to carve down here? Uh, I was going to start just carving a big wood spirit, but I changed my mind and said I'll carve an owl. Still getting better at the eyes. Later.